and hello survivors welcome back to another different year two video my name is jimmy shreds and today we're going to be doing a review on the new easter shotgun that we got from the event called kane solution which is using 10 gauge shotgun rounds i'm gonna leave down in the description my socials and also i'm gonna leave the membership for youtube if you want to support me let's roll so first i'm gonna talk about how can you get this shotgun well you can get this shotgun by getting these materials called cracked eggshells which you can find by doing purple zones or doing easter event missions i'm gonna be doing the guide hopefully i'll be able to deliver it tomorrow so you need 400 400 cracked eggshells to craft this weapon you need 50k cash as well also you can do this one for the credits which you first need to have this one so you can enhance it now i'm gonna talk about the stats skills and such of the character this is have in mind this is not a build video this is a weapon review so just have in mind i'm gonna go very fast through the skills with sprinter 5 she's an expert 5 headhunter 5 marksman 5 reloading 5 quick shot 5 hunter 5 looter 5 toughness 5 aim for the heart 5 quick reflexes 5 and armor 5 i do not advise you to go for the armor 5 go for the survivor 5 if you can 100 percent do not go for this this is not a good skill anymore currently due to the changes the survivor got so we have a sprinter because i was always sprinter sprinter is one point times faster than a jogger completely up to you you can go sprinter or jogger shotgun expert because we're using shotguns headhunter for the headshot damage marksman for that aim speed maximum accuracy and range which is very important reloading for that walk speed reload speed and ammo capacity you really need reload speed and ammo capacity on shotguns that's really really important quick shot for that attack speed and aim speed pretty much that's those Two important stats hunter 5 for damage versus mutated which is damage against bosses really really important if you are doing bosses as we are uh, doing with this showcase review of the weapon Luther 5 for that search speed find unique and elite the most important thing here why i go for it is search speed that's the only stat what i care uh, about in this skill because it saves me one second between each loot spot toughness 5 for 75 hp and 25 incoming sun threshold really really good you have higher chance of surviving because you have more hp very simple aim for the heart for the 25 percent body damage which helps quite a lot when we need to deal lag uh, enemies or when we're fighting the enemies that have spines bones so you cannot hit their head and and such quick reflexes five for the dodge cooldown and 75 incoming stun recovery which means we can get out of the sticky situations also higher survivability due to the dodge and 75 incoming stun recover uh, recovery means when we get hit we're gonna recover much faster from being staggered and forget our armor 5 as i said you go for the survivor which at the level 5 will give you minus 10 incoming damage now let's move on to the uh star of the show which is kane's solution shotgun this is the shotgun we have as you can see we have weapon body damage weapon headshot weapon attack speed damage versus mutated and find unique item chains those are the stats this is pretty much like a Fatman's uh, Enforcer, like 2.0, but this one has find unique item chance. Now, I'm going to move on to the other uh, items that we're using and show you. So, I'm using this uh, helmet. What you want to have for your helmet and your um, gloves, stats are like headshot, mutated, attack speed, reload speed, and body damage. Those are the stats if you can get. So, prioritize headshot first. Mutated, attack speed, then reload speed, and fifth, body damage. If you can get body damage, that's awesome, but prioritize those first four stats. Gloves, we have reckless rated gloves. If you cannot get these type of gloves, these are very expensive gloves, you can go with something like as explained. As you can see, we're using this elite motorbike helmet with those stats. So anything like that, just as I said, focus on the four stats, which I said uh, if you cannot get it, this one, you can just go try to get elite or... Um, or the rare gloves, or maybe some other unique. You do not have to get reckless rated gloves, but these are currently the best gloves in terms uh, for the weapons uh, that prioritize headshot damage. So those are gloves. These gloves are definitely the best currently. If you can get those, go for it. We're using the leather jacket with incoming damage, inventory, HP, and incoming stun recovery, and incoming stun threshold. So the stats you want to have on your body piece is incoming damage, HP, inventory, incoming stun recovery, uh, bonus stats, incoming stun threshold, and visibility if you can. Elite, elite joggers, because we're a sprinter with triple sprint, sprint stats, and incoming damage, and inventory capacity. So if you are going for something like what I have here, 
triple sprint stats, incoming damage, inventory, the extra stat could be dodge cooldown, jog speed, uh, HP. I would go for the HP, but as this is what we have. Uh, boots, we have triple sprint stats, jog, and dodge cooldown, and footsteps noise radius. So, because we are sprinter, we need triple sprint stats. The extras are like jog, dodge cooldown, walk speed, but we got footsteps noise radius on this. So, those are the stats you want to focus on. You can go for walk speed instead of footsteps noise radius, completely up to you. I didn't, uh, when I was buying these back in the day, this, is, this was like what I was able to find. So, I think these were like, it's like two years old, almost like that, the issues. So, yeah, it's been a while. And for our stat stick, we're using Reaper Sight. 75 mutated and incoming damage. If you do not have Reaper Sight, you can go for something uh, different, like Substitute. You can go for the end game's marathon. You're mutated, won't be as high as uh, with Reaper Sight, but you'll get mutated, incoming damage, sprint speed, and sprint uh, duration. End game marathon is a really, really good substitute. And have in mind, this is our shotgun and um, Sassic, but we switch between uh, the gear that we're using, depends where we go. So for regular bossing, this is our set that we use, okay? But when you go to the Commerce and Ravenwall, we use Gorchimmer as our Stasic. As you can see, those are the stats. So now we are talking about more of like endgame uh, raid buildings. So if you, if you do not have this... You do not, you should not be going doing those solo. I advise you to, if you're going to Commerce and Ravenwall Hospital, to go in the group at least two or three. So you have easier time. Solo is, if you do not have like, it's really important. Your stats must be high to be able to do things solo. So remember that. And this is the Assault Vest, our body armor that we use uh, when we go inside of Commerce, Ravenwall as well. So what I was about to say uh is this is a really really good shotgun especially you know if you do not have anything else this is a free shotgun so get it yourself if you can uh while the event is on also the attachment what do you want to use you want to use it really depends on your uh on your uh, reload speed and such because if if your reload speed is like below uh, is uh, above two seconds I, I don't really focus on reload speed. I, I would not be worrying about clip size because you're going to be able to one-shot all of the uh, regular bosses without any issues. Outside of Commerce and Ravenwall, right? So, if you uh, have very high reload speed, you can go uh, You can go for the... Uh, I think it's called... Quick Draw Mag, I think. Something like that. It gives you 15% reload speed and ammo capacity. You can get it by doing the mission in uh, Drone Mine, if I remember right. If you do not want to go for that, you'll be fine with the Elite Grip Tape. I would not be putting a brand new uh, Elite Grip Tape unless this is going to be my uh, shot. Unless this shotgun is going to be for my main character, my main weapon for bossing. Then you can go for the brand new if you want. But if you can hit uh, two second reload time, a little bit below that, like 1.8, 1.9, that's going to be awesome. Clip size, as I said, there should be something uh, you should prioritize as, uh, as the last. Because we can't be, we won't be one clipping everything. Very simple. Because the clip size base is very low. Now I'm gonna show you the performance against the bosses. First is gonna be regular bosses, then it's gonna be um, commerce, and then it's gonna be Ravenwall Hospital. Uh, also before that, full stats, so you can have a very very quick uh, peek at how our stats looks like. We have a little over 1.6k DPS. You can pause, so you have easier time things right now moving to the performance enjoy
and as you've seen guys the performance is really really good the weapon is and it's really good now let's talk about pros for this shotgun a very high damage easy to build around cheap ammo really good against all kinds of bosses can one clip all bosses outside of the endgame buildings the issue you're gonna have with bosses are like optics but if they're really close to you and you know when the eye is open man you're gonna be demolishing them and maybe some spined enemies th th those th that's the issue you'll have with uh, so easy to play due to the insane damage and stun knockback distance pretty much free to craft during the easter event which is right now because you know as i explained what you need plus it has find unique uh, item chance so that's that's really good uh, which can be, you know, uh, handy in regular boss hunting and in Pearl Heavens are hives. If you don't have maxed out, find unique chance already. So those are the pros. Cons, low ammo capacity, high, very, very long time uh, to reload, uh, to reload the gun. Final verdict. This shotgun is approved. Like, there's more positive things to say than negative. Like, this is like a fat missing force 2.0, as I said, but without damage versus infected. Plus, you can enhance it on the workbench, as I said, for 500 credits, which means you can get high DPS compared to the Fatman's Enforcer. I would only enhance it if this is going to be a weapon for my main character, as I said. So, that's it. That's pretty much the review of the weapon. I hope this information was helpful. And thank you so much for watching. Leave down feedback in the comments what you want to see next and, you know, what you think about the shotgun and such. I really want to hear your thoughts and your opinions. I'm gonna leave in the in the description uh, socials as I said as always, and I'm also gonna leave um, a link to my membership on YouTube if you if you, if you want to support me. Thank you everybody. I wish you a happy Easter, and I'll see you in another video, a different year too. Till next time, peace survivors.